Hello team and welcome back to another Line War cast. This is your map today in a 1v1 between AK, Misk in blue and Animorph in red. This is from the quarterfinal of the T2 2024 tournament that's going on right now in Line War. And both of these players know what they're doing. Both have been playing for a long time. AK and Misk won one of the first tournaments, I believe. I actually, I have this on two times speed, don't I? Give me a second, there we go. Now we're not on two times speed, we're on one time speed again. Uh, Animorph has also been playing for a long time uh, and both are spawning pretty close to the middle so pretty decent spawning locations for both of these players we don't really cover the picking phase in these videos just because it takes a while but uh, Animorph is digging it why can't I see my cursor what is going <laughs> what is going on okay I'm not gonna I'm gonna do the cast with a cursor all right this is new new little bug let's see if I can get the scrolling all right one of the things we're seeing lately in the meta is these little defense lines that people just throw up very quickly. And, Anim and Animorph's using this perfectly in the forest. The range bonus of the infantry when they're in the defensive lines, they just have the defensive buff in general. AK backs off, which is super nice. If I was in Blue's position, I would have just yeeted those three infantry into the defensive line. They would have all died. It's a tank helicopter combination from blue. And it's, so far it's just artillery and infantry for uh, Animorph. This is actually gonna be really hard because I don't have the cursor. We're not even gonna shit, we, don't have, we are, don't have a way to see the ecos of both players. So we're just gonna kind of eyeball it. But Animorph's vision isn't, uh, isn't good enough to see that there's an airport right now. These infantry at the front here, there's, they're not even remotely close enough to actually spot this airport. I don't think the infantry in the entrenchment is close enough either. And uh, my guess on why I can say that with confidence is that Animorph is not building SAMs yet. If Red knew that there were helicopters on the way, surely Red would build some SAMs. We might see a switch up to SAMs after these next two artillery pieces pop out of the factory for Red. But uh, if we don't, then the helicopters for Animorph will be able to do a lot of damage. Blue might send the helicopters immediately just because of the number of infantry here, or Blue will hold on to the helicopters. But you can see this uh, attack command this capture command from the helicopter so they are going to get into the fight right away more tanks from animorph and a transport plane on the airport with that blue barracks making commandos uh, i think i said for animorph it's for ak so ak is probably going to go to the northern island and that's what we're seeing up here with this line command with the commandos as a receiver and the transport plane AK wants to get up there as soon as possible to start expanding. And now that Animorph sees that there are helicopters, both of the factories you can see are they're building SAMs. Animorph low, low on, or AK low on energy, has enough capital to build a refinery. I'm kind of surprised, there must be a different refinery. Yeah, it's in the forest here for AK. Building a refinery in the forest, building any building in the forest or a mountain range causes a 50% build time penalty. But the producer or the structure in this case for the refinery is more stealthed when you are built in a mountain or a forest. So that's the pros and cons of it. And this looks like it's just gonna be a four bears, two factory push right towards Animorphs or AK's base. And Red is following up with a little bit of industry. Those are the only other buildings that are going on right now. First transport plane will start moving momentarily. And that's interesting. AK actually changed that command, that blue move command of commandos and transport planes into a double wide line. I wonder if it's because the, the commandos weren't responding at first. But after the first transport plane, it's more helicopters for blue, which makes a lot of sense. AK will probably just stick on one transport plane and then go helicopters from now on. And the first two SAMs for Animorph are complete. It's two more SAMs as well. For red, as soon as there's even three SAMs here, it'll be tough for the helicopters to really do much. 
it's now a question of if blue can use these tanks how blue uses these tanks ak could elect to try to snipe sams which is it looks like this is the plan you can see that blue move command with the the tank receiver because i don't have my cursor i can't really point it out but you can see it it's that small blue dot and animorphs using the big blue dot with the sams as the receiver to try to get out of the way of the tanks tanks really excel in two different roles chasing down sams and then also running past armies and, and getting into the back lines and causing havoc causing havoc in that way destroying producers that sort of thing ak does have one refinery done there's actually more refineries in the back if blue wants to take more energy it looks like ak doesn't want to do that okay oh, there's two artillery pieces that have been created now it's a switch back into tanks for blue and AK has done a very good job to actually get both of those two first SAMs. So Red only has two SAMs now, instead of four. And the two commandos for AK on that northern island. If we go top down, more territory for blue than red. But still a pretty decent position for Animorph. Losing the first two SAMs is a little bit tough. And the second refinery for AK is going to be big. What can happen here is if Blue maintains this helicopter count, continues to build tanks, and has two refineries, there's no real risk that Blue's going to have to stop moving all these energy units. And tanks are obviously, the, you know, the best unit on land to fight other land units as long as you have the energy for them. I entirely lied when I said that Blue is going to stay on one transport plane. It's actually two transport planes for AK Misk. Only one of these barracks is making commandos continuously, though. So the both of the transport planes can't really be used in tandem right now. There's not enough commandos being produced. Third factory for Animorph. And more farms to the left side of the map up here in the north for red here come the tanks with the runaround at the same time Animorphs is going to rush the defensive line there's quite a few infantry for red so there's a chance that they might actually be able to break through you can see these blue move commands from red to actually get through the entrenchment and get on top of the artillery pieces at the same time AK is using the tanks in the way that they're probably served best in this situation just picking off artillery pieces and AK is moving the helicopters to the back because the two SAMs are super scary for those damaged helicopters they don't want to get too close to them it's more barracks for Animorph. And uh, we heard a fight. That's a barracks. That's another barracks, the sound we heard right there. So it's going to be five barracks for red, three barracks for blue. And the real difference is that blue's using energy units and red is not using energy units. You can see the way the tanks kind of trade against infantry and SAMs. AK has entirely reset the SAM count except for this one SAM for red that's up close to the front. And now that this push is dying down, probably pretty good for AK, who's still capping on the north. We could see a barracks go down on the northern island, but instead we hear a town in the south here. This town also has a port as an option. So we'll expect AK to build that as well. And if we go top down, more territory for blue than red. These tanks are going to be very frustrating for Animorph to deal with. They're going to rip up to the north, probably cut off a bunch of these infantry, or at least these four capping infantry. Or just start capping. And it's like a little mix of artillery and tanks from blue. Blue nearly has four helicopters. There's that fourth helicopter finishing. Probably going to be a fifth helicopter as well. 
the nice thing about helicopters or one of the nice things about helicopters is that they don't really take up room on the airport if you have five airplanes on an airport you can't build any more units from from that specific airport helicopters they can land on allied territory so they don't take up that spot so the two transport planes are able to safely be on the airport and not be taking up too much space that'd be in contrast to like strikers you can't have more than five on an airport same with interceptors bombers as well Super nice pickoff from Animorph in the north against those three tanks. AKA sees it now and starts sprinting away one tank. And this tank is super on fire. And you saw what just happened. One of the helicopters went down. This one blue tank is also going to be destroyed. And I suspect that this one will be in trouble as well. This is... AK's vision to just give an idea of how poor Tank's vision is. An Animorph now building a town, which is usually a pretty bullish sign for a player to actually build a town instead of a producer, showing that they feel they have enough producers and enough army to actually hold off a push and decide to eco up instead, and then Animorph adding that other farm as well. Both players on even count of factories at this point, and uh, there's only one more barracks for Animorph than there is for AK. The difference being, of course, that AK has gone for an airport and then these two refineries. And the tanks, going back to the usual thing they're going to do, they're just going to beeline in front of all these artillery pieces, soak up some of the damage, and then try to get on the SAMs. Animorph's going to move the SAMs closer to the, to the artillery pieces. And Blue uses this opportunity to at least launch the helicopters for a little bit. Probably will destroy one of the artillery pieces. I can't imagine that AKA stays here for long. And Blue's going to lose one of these helicopters, surely, yes, one of them goes down. Probably not a second one. The Sams will target the most damaged unit in range. And two more Sams showing up for red, one more on the way out of that forwardmost factory. So four Sams, pretty good to deal with four helicopters from Blue. Some eco for... AK on the Northern Island, Blue deciding not to build a barracks up there and it's just six commandos is enough to actually cap, which makes a lot of sense. And huge drop from AK in the south. Animorph's not going to be able to see this. And more importantly, Animorph's not going to be able to respond to these two commandos. They're just going to destroy the town. Even if Red decided to beeline all the infantry down towards that town, they won't be able to be able to get there in time. In some ways, it's the strength of having Air Force to be able to respond to commando drops like this. And Blue broadly just using the mobility advantages of tanks and commandos to entirely avoid this red army that's pushing through the center. It's now four factories for blue. AK probably has an eco lead here. And even more so now that the commandos for blue destroyed that red town. And I think I heard more barracks. Do I hear barracks or is this just the farm noise? AK is making more farms on the northern part of the map and then building a town to the far right. Which as mentioned earlier, usually a sign that the player feels comfortable. That they have enough to hold the push. Defensive line's pretty strong. You can see the, the range increase of these artillery pieces on that northern entrenchment. I guess now you can, because they destroyed everything that was close. So Animorph's kind of pushing down more to the south, 
to try to avoid that entrenchment line. Three tanks are going to cause a lot of havoc here. They'll be able to destroy this infantry. They'll, all, they'll also be able to destroy both of these SAMs, most likely. And the two commandos for AK, with their great vision, see this barracks being built in the mountain range. It's helicopters from Anamorph off this airport. And then AK dropping in the north as well. I would say, in general, this is looking very good for blue. The only thing stopping these helicopters from getting in the fight in the, the main part of the map here is these five SAMs for red that are getting very close to the front. But the town pickup is huge. These two commandos actually do destroy the barracks, which is very sad for Anamorph, who will probably lose a farm as well. The heli copters for red are going to be a big deal and probably help out a lot in both the tank run buys and then also these commando drops that are happening and that's that first refinery for anamorph in the north farm goes down two of the tanks for blue survive more industry for AK and the Northern Island. There's a lot of farms on that island, which is great for blue farms and mining sites and lumber camps, I believe what they're called, depending on if they're in the open field, a forest or a mountain. Uh, they take the least amount of time to build for eco buildings. So they're great little things to, to just add to the economy if you have an opportunity to build them. And they're relatively cheap. They cost 150. There's on the wiki. There's the whole matrix of how much things cost, the different eco buildings, how effective they are. It's been super mapped out, and a lot of infantry in the back here for AK just capping for now. They don't really have anything else to do. They're just going to keep capping, and if we go top down starting to look a little bit more like a split map but of course if this does go split map blue has more of the map and then in general would just be able to win economically so far animorph still done a very good job of keeping these sams alive blue is kind of pushing back a little bit but the defender's advantage is gonna come into play here for red it's why it's, you know, it's very difficult to go the final mile, so to speak, on the push. Because you get so close to your opponent's producers, every time one of their units pops out, they're in the fight immediately, where your unit has to walk all the way to the front lines. Good multitask from Anim or AKA, pardon me, with the tanks doing runbys. Good, good multitask by both players, really, when it comes down to it. But AK has got like three, two commandos up here and then also these tanks doing runbys. That one commando in the top left will be able to get that town by itself. Even if AK sends these four or these five infantry on the refinery to the town, it's probably not going to be in time. And for those that don't know, you don't get visual cues or warnings that your units or your buildings are under attack. There's no mini-map that starts flashing. You just have to be scanning all over the map and listening for these things and looking visually for what's going on. Doc for Animorph or AK. I keep messing up both the players' names in this specific game all the time. AK is building a dock in the north and there's also that barracks right beside it this means uh, to me i assume there's going to be commandos out of this barracks and it's going to be going to go for a, a landing attempt the extra barracks and then the extra factory makes me feel like it's going to be all infantry and then probably artillery pieces maybe some sams without the cursor my zoom in zoom out skills are super lacking uh, and the first it, commando wasn't able to actually destroy the town, but the second commando that shows up after destroying this farm will be able to finish the job. And there it goes. AK 
AK really wants to get on top of these Sams. You can just tell this is why these tanks are moving the, the way that they're moving. I guess maybe something else that happens is that the artillery pieces for red have to turn their gun around so they're not facing the way that blue's coming from. But if AK is thinking that far, I just that's got that's way too sweaty. Even for a 1v1 tournament, that's it's way too much. The town is destroyed for red, making it look like an even more difficult situation for Animorph here. And this is your top down view. This one command was still just trekking it after destroying this the, the farm and the town. Making that the most efficient unit in line war history. And on the north there with the first transport boat done, it's ripping in on this haste move command with the little boot with the three dots behind it. Transport boot boat <laughs> transport boot moving as quick as it possibly can. And this will make it uh, pretty much game over, I think, when these blue units get across here, start taking all this territory back. There is a barracks to the north for Animorph and a helicopter and more helicopters being produced, but this main push isn't going all that well. Blue officially has more production here contributing to this main push. And nice for Animorph to send these helicopters around the bottom and try to attack these factories. The helicopter for red might be able to see this town. And if that's the case, we'll very likely see red just decide to target command the, the airport down with the helicopters. During all of this, AK actually has some interceptors. Two interceptors against one helicopter. The interceptors are going to certainly destroy this helicopter before it gets back to base. And they do. And unfortunately for Red, Blue actually has a decent amount of Sams now. There's going to be six that are very close to the main army. And the first units for Blue are landing now. Commandos out of the barracks for Animorph in the north. And here comes another landing of commandos in the south. AK. They were gonna head right towards the mountain range and then probably start capping the territory is my guess. AK is gonna commit these helicopters. I wouldn't be surprised if Blue decides to turn around with the helicopters, by, but by this point, since they're already here, after losing three of the helicopters, Blue's probably going to be able to reset the SAMs a little bit. It'll still leave Red with four SAMs, but you can just see how many artillery pieces and just in general units that Blue has that are pretty much on Animorph's buildings. One of the factories goes down and that's it. GG well played both. I think this series is still going. I don't know what game of the series it was, but I know it's a close series. Maybe we'll cast another game of it. We'll certainly cast uh, the next rounds of the tournament, the semifinals and the finals. But uh, thank you for watching the video. Thanks for the support on the channel. I know there's a lot of new folks that have gotten into the game. I don't know how you got to the, how you figured out that this game exists. Maybe it was the Shermanator video. Maybe it was something else. Maybe it was just good timing, but welcome to the community. Uh, obviously wonderful to have so many more folks playing the game. Uh, thanks for liking the video, subbing to the channel, all helps the channel grow. Check out the line where Discord to learn more about the game. I uh, hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, whatever it is. Enjoy, folks. Peace.